Good morning my dear brothers and sisters may the greetings of peace joy and love of the lord be with you today in all the activities you do today may all those activities may bring a step closer into the presence of the lord blessed are you when people hate you and when they exclude you and revile you and spurn your name as evil on account of the son of man gospel of saint luke chapter 6 verse 22 dear brothers and sisters uh, an elderly man reached the pearly gates of heaven then he happened to meet saint peter at the gates of heaven and he told to this elderly person that depending on the life you have lived on the earth you will get 80 100 points and that will qualify you to enter the kingdom of heaven then an that elderly man tried to narrate what he did when he was on this earth firstly he told that i have married for 60 long years with the same woman and never tried to remain unfaithful to her in my married life then saint peter responded to him good you will get one point then the elderly person continued that i was a lector and i have served as an extraordinary minister of the eucharist i have taught sunday catechism for 30 long years and also i have helped missionaries then saint peter told him for this good work you will get three more points then the elderly person asked saint peter for so many years service i did faithfully on the on the earth you are only giving three points then i may not enter the pearly gates of heaven then elderly person questioned saint peter what about living my life according to the beatitudes of jesus yes you are fortunate told saint peter then you will get 100 points and he asked the elderly person come in well done elderly person yes my dear people of god today we are celebrating the sixth sunday in the ordinary time and all the readings in one way or the other trying to communicate this message to us and the message is that whichever way of life we are chosen we are called to strive after blessedness or practice beatitudes in our life dear friends we learn from today's first reading two things who is a blessed person and who is a cursed person cursed person is the one who trusts in himself or in other persons and the things of this world and does not walk in the path that god has shown him to walk and that person's life definitely is cursed one and he is compared to the strap that is there in the wilderness and in the wilderness nothing grows except the straps and the straps 
will not be able to understand the goodness and badness uh, happens around it in the wilderness so also a cursed person's life is but the happy person is the one who places his utmost trust and he hopes everything on god and nothing of this world and his life is compared to a tree that is planted by the water and does not fear when heat comes because its leaves remain green and is not anxious even there is drought and it continues to produce good fruits in all seasons today's responsive psalm also intends the same message psalm 1 very first words are blessed the man who has placed his trust in the lord only one one who has placed his trust in the lord is called blessed not the cursed person who has placed his trust in the things of the world cannot be called blessed in the second reading st paul writing his first letter to the corinthians reveals the great truth about the resurrection and believing in the resurrection or jesus has risen itself makes you and me to take part uh, in the happiness of god or we become blessed or we be- we become beatitudes in our life and for others life and if at all we fail to believe in the resurrection then st paul warns that what we have preached what we have propagated is waste and still you are in sins the gospel reading of today's liturgy speaks about four blessings four beatitudes or four woes or four curses these four curses are woes we don't find in the st matthean version in st matthew jesus preached this beatitude on the mountain and gave eight beatitudes and that beatitude beatitudes are the summary of jesus teaching about how to be happy or how to be holy whereas in the st lucan version we have uh, this four beatitude given on the plain place and here we have four beatitudes and equally four curses and according to matthean version whoever follows the words of jesus surely will get a reward but whereas in the lucan version whoever does not follow the beatitudes of jesus he or she will definitely suffer more dear friends is a great moment for all of us if we if you and i get suffering or uh, if we are getting uh, sorrows if we become sorrowful or if we are poor because in that way we are taking part in the passion death and resurrection of our lord as we are enlightened by the word of god of this sunday 
let us always place our trust in God alone not the things of this world and always suffer happily voluntarily spontaneously for the kingdom of God or for love of Christ in this way we may not be considered blessed in the sight of the world but definitely we will be considered uh, and rewarded as blessed people in the sight of God for this let us pray to God today may almighty god bless you the father and the son and the holy spirit amen wishing you all a blessed sunday today